Hey, what's up guys? Share Synergy in the vicinity here and today we got some new Sonic X Shadow Generations news and some new Sonic Generations original news on Steam. So as you guys know, Sonic X Shadow Generations is supposed to be coming out this October. We're actually like, what, two months away from it? We're getting really close to the game. And there's been a lot of speculation as to what's going to happen to the original Sonic Generations that's up on Steam. Obviously, everybody was afraid that it would get delisted because all the mods would be gone and that would just be sad. And right before we get into it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, hit the post notification bell and let's get into it. So it looks like Sega gave us not just one, but two different things to think about and talk about today. The first of it being that, yes, it is confirmed that Sonic Generations, the game itself on Steam, will be delisted on September 9th, 2024, exactly a month away from the time I'm recording this video. And at first, everyone's like, oh, that's sad, right? But then you look at their second tweet, this one right here, where they say that, yes, the game itself is going to be delisted, but only if you buy the game, like, if you get the game standalone. Just the game itself is going to be delisted. There are other methods to getting the game on Steam, which they had said was through bundles. And at first, we all assumed, like, okay, maybe it's, you know, there's always some sort of Sonic bundle on Steam every now and then. We'll, like, I was personally assuming they meant, like, the Humble Bundle or something, but no. They just meant like just straight up like the other bundles, you know, the really expensive Sonic bundles, the one that has like all the Sonic games though, so it kind of makes up for it. But apparently not. So it looks like Sega is going to be dropping a new Sonic Legacy bundle. So on Steam, there's a frequently asked question section just for Sonic Generations getting delisted. And it starts with saying, question, can I still purchase the game at all after September 9th? Answer, on September 9th, the original version of Sonic Generations will no longer be sold on Steam as a standalone title. However, we've heard players feedback and we're offering a way to play the game in an original form. The original version of Sonic Generations will be available as part of the new Sonic the Hedgehog Legacy Bundle, including other classic Sonic titles on Steam. And then the next part goes, question, if I already previously purchased Sonic Generations, will I still have access to the game when it gets delisted on September 9th? Answer, yes. Players who already own the original version of Sonic Generations will still be able to download and play the game. Then the next part goes, question, will I still be able to mod Sonic Generations after it's been removed? Answer, yes. Players who already own the original version of Sonic Generations will still be able to mod the game and all pre-existing mods will still work. You know, it is a bit odd though that uh, they specify that players who already own the original version of Gents will still be able to mod the game. Though I'm assuming it's probably going to be like the same for everyone. I guess it's just poor wording. I don't know. But the next part goes, Question, what is included in the Sonic the Hedgehog Legacy Bundle that will be offered? Answer, the Sonic the Hedgehog Legacy Bundle will include Sonic Generations Collection, which is basically just Sonic Gens and like the Casino Knights DLC, Sonic Adventure DX, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1, Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 2, Sonic 3D Blast, and Sonic Spinball. Question, what is the price of the new bundle? Answer, the price of the new bundle is $59.99 USD. <sighs> 59.99 USD. You're might, you might as well just get all the games separately at this point. Like, come on. But I mean, at the end of the day, I think this is like a win-win for just everybody in general because there was obviously no world where Sonic Generations Original was not gonna get delisted. We all saw that coming. But this is honestly the best scenario for both sides. Sega gets to like obviously get rid of the original game. That way, they could really only focus on you know the version they want people to buy and then obviously for us fans that want to use the mods and play the original version there's still other ways to get them the only difference is that it's packed with a bundle but come on if you're buying if you're if you're trying to get the original sonic generations i feel like you're the type of person to already own all these other games or want to also own all these other games so it really is just a win-win at the end of the day but honestly yeah that's really all we've had to talk about today i know i've been gone for who knows how long, but it's, it's, it's fun, you know, coming back. So I'm sure you guys will hear from me again very soon. But with that out of the way, I just want to know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for Sonic X Shadow Generations? Do you think they shouldn't have delisted the game anyways or find some other way to per, like sell the game as a standalone? Maybe through... Well, I mean, honestly, there's always like Steam keys and whatnot, right? Right? But yeah, with all that out of the way, see you guys next time.